everyone again, it's Tim here from Signage Live, and today we're going to be talking about picking your CMS, your content management system, the glue, the hub that will take your content from wherever you are to your devices. This is a key piece, especially from where we're coming from, but let's talk about all of the options out there. So far we've discussed the hardware, you should have a good idea of what kind of hardware you want to go with, the content, you should have a good idea of what kind of content that you're hoping to run, so the next question is, what platform do you want to choose to run that content? Now, when you look at picking your CMS, it's going to be important to consider a few things. The first of which here is, what do you need from your CMS platform? There are four key factors to think about, at least in my mind. There are many others, but the four key ones when you're making your decision. The first of which is cloud versus on-prem or on-premises. Now, there are two main thoughts when it comes to digital signage. One is cloud and one is on-premises. When we're talking about on-premise dig digital signage, what we're talking about is everything being restricted down to that location. There comes with some security benefits in terms of there is no way of communicating with your digital signage outside of that environment. Uh, and a lot of kind of high, high uh, security locations may decide to go that way. The cloud is the alternative where you're going to be able to say, actually, I want to start managing my digital signage on a global level or on a kind of regional level. Or I want to be able to remote access into my digital signage to update my content. The most important thing to look at when you're looking at both of these options is whichever CMS provider you're looking at, make sure you understand their documentation from a security per perspective. If you're in corporate communications or a larger entity that has an IT team, they'll most likely be interested in knowing this and there should be supported documents to list all of the things they should be aware of when it comes to the security. Any CMS should be doing a penetration test which allows you to have a regular check-in to make sure that their, their services, their platform is as secure as possible. So regardless of whether we're looking at cloud or on-prem, keep an eye out for that documentation and make sure you get a copy of that before going any further. Get that cross-reference with an IT team if necessary, just to make sure that they understand what they're going to need to enable or disable to allow that CMS platform to work. So that's a really key one when making your decision. There are some benefits to cloud and there are some benefits to on-prem. We're not gonna tell you specifically which one you should go for because it will depend on what your needs are but there are benefits uh, to each of them on their own. The other one on there is player control. So player control is important because especially if you're managing multiple devices or in, you're not in the location of those devices, being able to turn off your players, being able to reboot your players, being able to re receive reporting on those players and making sure they're all running as expected is vital. In fact, it's probably one of the biggest backbone pieces to what a, what a CMS platform should be doing for you. So the ability to very quickly make sure that your players are running as expected, report back on a regular basis on how those players have been running, and if required, be able to receive notifications on those players if they've made any changes, if they've been you know, down, internet's down, power's out, the screen's fallen off the, off the side of the wall, whatever it might be, being able to control those players in the most granular level possible is something to think about and make sure that your CMS platform is going to be able to provide. The other element, which I've cut off here slightly, but is content and user management. Content is key, uh, which is kind of how we're always going around these videos to make sure that you understand that does this CMS provide the content or support the content that we want to run? If it doesn't, can we live without that content? Because most likely it won't be something that changes in the near future, unless they have something like a roadmap to make sure that you understand that, hey, we don't provide or support this content right now, but we will be in the next six months or whatever that might be. And then you can make the decision on if you're comfortable with that or not. The other one is user management. Unless you're just you know, looking at the one screen or two screens, user management may become really vital for you. Being able to introduce additional users into the platform to manage it in the way that you see fit. There are more granular things to consider when we're considering, well, actually, I have 50 staff, 100 staff that need to log into this. Can I give them local permissions to the players that they want to control? Can I restrict what they can and cannot see? Can I administer the ability for them to be able to upload content, but someone needs to approve that content? All of these things may be questions for you that you need to ask to make sure that you're receiving the right CMS platform for you. Also be aware that some places will charge you extra for user management or additional users. So consider that when looking at the CMS platform that you choose. Functionality, that is, I mean, it's, it's the, the biggest one here. Does the functions that we mentioned within the content section do, are they all provided by the CMS? If a CMS platform can't provide multi-zones, then maybe it's not a good fit for you. If you're looking to trigger content based on something, if you want someone to be able to walk into your shop or your storefront, your retail environment, QSR, whatever that might be, and interact with your content, do they support interactivity? And all of this is really important for your decision. 
Now, that's the four key pieces, and I couldn't go away from this video without talking about some additional pieces just to make sure, because there is so much to think about when it comes to your CMS and understanding what's important to you. So just to recap, do you want a cloud or an on-prem digital signage experience? Do you want to control your players? And if so, how granularly? Content, does it support all the content that you want? And can you add in additional users if needed? And key here, functionality. Does it do everything you want it to? There are some other things to consider, so I couldn't leave without thinking about some other things to think about here. Support and security. Does the CMS platform that you're looking at offer a good level of support to get you started? Does it offer training? Does it offer different support levels? Does it tailor to your needs, depending on the scale or volume of digital signage you're looking to roll out? Security, again, we covered that in the cloud versus on-prem section here, but making sure that all of the boxes are ticked when it comes to your security policy and making sure that that works alongside the CMS provider that you're choosing. History and pedigree. I put this one down because it's interesting. Obviously, in a digital experience, in a digital environment, things change very quickly. And some CMS platforms can rise very quickly and then fall off the radar. You never know what's going to happen, especially as environments change. From a history or pedigree or seeing a list of different case studies that these, these CMS providers have been using on, it's really important to understand, do they have long longevity? Are they used to dealing with medium, large, small size clients? Do they have any examples of this? And understanding where that company history is from and where they succeed. Development and future proofing. Again, in a technological industry where development is key and things are ever changing, are the pl is the platform going to be doing that? Do they have a roadmap? Do they understand where they want to go? Do they have any core factors they're going to be building into the platform in the next couple of months or weeks or years or whatever that might be? And are they development focused in that way? There are multiple different CMS out outfits out there that will have hardware packaged in. Is that their hardware? Do they develop the hardware specifically for that software? As we talked in the hardware perspective, it may be that you start off with standalone players, but then later on decide that actually I'm going to go move over to system on chip because I'm buying new screens anyway. Will that CMS platform be able to work alongside a range of different hardware options out there? So that's a couple of really important things to start thinking about when you're looking at CMS. Now, obviously, this is the Signage Live page, so I'd be remiss not to mention that we are entirely a CMS platform, and that is all that we focus on. But we really want to be open and honest here, just in terms of what's out there in the market and what needs to be thought about. Not everything will be a best fit for Signage Live. Not everyone will need to go with cloud. So it's worth mentioning that here so you understand that even though you may not decide that Signage Live is the best fit for you, this training and this sheet here and this website will give you all of that information. However, if you do want to talk about any of the things within Signage Live, feel free to reach out to us anyway. That's pretty much it from the three basics we need to talk about. As we go through this, we're now going to start talking about something more advanced. Now, we will probably lean a little bit more into how Signage Live works in that case, because we want to talk about what we experience and how we run that. But we will keep this as broad as possible when it comes to getting up and running. Hopefully that's been useful for you. If you've got any questions, reach out to us. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.